Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a UFO? We can't figure it out. A viewer reaching out saw these large bright lights in the skies over the strip in downtown. He says they're bigger than the helicopters we see circling uh, many, many times. And we just heard back from Nellis. They say not involved in this. So if you think you know what these are, you've seen these, you can reach out. Let us know right on our website, adusnow.com. Top story there. In just the last few days, the Department of Defense has released new footage of a new UFO, footage in the Middle East. Could they have just been looking for more cows? The Pentagon has no explanation for what this was. Something strange is happening in my beloved home state of Texas, where someone or something is mutilating cattle. Three different counties, six cows have been found dead, with each scene more grisly than the next. They don't make sense. The cow's tongues have been cut out. Uh, almost surgically, there's almost no signs of spilled blood. And nearly two of them, of the cows, had their sex organs removed. Authorities say they were unable to find any sign of footprints or tire tracks around the scenes. On top of that, the areas around the carcasses were undisturbed, like no signs of a struggle for the cows. And as troubling as all this is, stories like this have been happening actually for decades. As far back as the 1970s, the New York Times was reporting that nearly 200 cows in 11 states were found mysteriously mutilated, where ranchers reported that udders, eyes, ears, sex organs, and tongues seemed to have been removed. Sounds familiar. So who is behind this seemingly 40 years of unexplained phenomenon? I don't know. Teenagers who play sick pranks on cattle ranchers? Cultish worshipers of some odd religion? Aliens? What could this be? This is so odd, we have to consider any possibility. You heard stories of crop circles appearing on farms. Could they be leaving a message that they're taking our livestock? Do extraterrestrials have an infatuation with farmland? It might sound crazy, but not out of the question. What is going on? Not just here, but maybe in the universe. Is the truth out there. And more unexplainable sightings are adding to the growing push for answers from the U.S. government. We cannot keep turning a blind eye to surveillance data that is critical to detecting and tracking UAP. This week on Capitol Hill, the top Pentagon official reviewing unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAP, says they're investigating roughly 650 cases. That's up from more than 500 reported at the beginning of the year. The majority of unidentified objects reported to Aero demonstrate mundane characteristics of balloons, unmanned aerial systems, clutter, natural phenomena, or other readily explainable sources. 